waiting wait on a winner of this one. Yeah, for sure. I've actually got a... Well, I might, I might be on commentary for the long haul here. We'll see. <laughs> I was going to do homework, but man... <laughs> No, nobody else wants to wants to jump on the mic. Wherever Sup went. Yeah, I think Sup's using the restroom or getting a drink or something. Yeah, honestly, I, I want to have him step back on, but I will I will take bullets for the team. I think this mic is broken. Like it, it's like he's yeah. falling down. Yeah, I had that issue with it at um, NHS. It was it's being you gotta hold it somewhat. Hmm. All right. Yeah, basically. Probably should. I don't even know if Gucci knows about it or not. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll mention it to him probably. All right. So it looks like we're gonna see E Serpent. I don't know who he's facing. Is it Tone Deaf? It's Tone yeah, Deaf. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tone Deaf. Yeah. Yeah. This one. This one's a classic Westland War Zone match. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Right. It's right. One, one of them definitely. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, who does this usually go to though? I, I think Tone Deaf usually wins. I could be wrong. I I feel like that's true. Think, yeah. Oh my gosh, he's opting for the Robin. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what the Ro I, I don't know if I've ever seen him being with the Robin, though. He's got so. a good Robin, man. That yeah. was like his oh, yeah, original I've, secondary. Oh, yeah. I, I've, I've played his Robin a few times, yeah. Yeah. It's good, man. Like this, I, I like the pick, too. It's a great counter pick, honestly. Like, definitely Ganondorf will certainly struggle to get in with all those, with all the projectiles and this wall that Robin has the ability to put up. And he's yeah. just such a big target, so. Yeah, the projectile is definitely good against him. Only problem is Ganon's faster, <laughs> which is kind of funny. That's sad. <laughs> it's true, though. It's like his dash attack, like, like see how fast you can run across there and cover that space. Like, And Ganon's not that fast at doing that, but he definitely has that ability. Yep, and here oh, we go. Um, All it takes is one read. Yeah, that was a good, good read. <gasps> That's going to be it. And both oh. of them are going to die. I, I get why he went lower, so he didn't want to hit him with the L wind, you know? Uh huh. So to save um, E Serpent, but yeah, he went a little bit, a little bit too low. Yeah. Did, did he not? Did he not have full L win? Could he have survived that if he had like? No. Nope. Nah, that's that's too low. Robin's recovery is just not. It, it's bad. Not yeah. Fast, uh, it's it's not one of the more prominent recoveries for sure. And I mean, whatever. That's gonna give E Serpent new life. And so far, pretty good game. Okay, good option to get around the arc fire. Mm -hmm. Punish. That's a lot of damage, oh and now he's no. gonna die again. That's two SDs. That's yeah. just unfortunate. <laughs> just misjudgment on his part. Yeah. Not realizing what he exactly had to work with. That's one of the hardest things about Robin is just keeping track of everything, all of your tools. Mm. If you're not on top of your tool set, <laughs> you're gonna make a mistake along the lines. And yeah, just a little too much, a little too overextended down there. Uh, opting for Battlefield here. Okay. I understand this. I was kind of wondering, you know, you know, the Robin, I mean, it's not that the Robin didn't work. It was kind of hard to say if it worked or not because <laughs> it was just like, I mean, when you asked me twice, it's just like, you know. It, was it I, probably wasn't was the character. The right, was it the right character choice or was it just um, spaghetti and, yeah. or something like? I think uh, he's pretty confident it was spaghetti because he's back at Robin yeah. and now on Battlefield where maybe he's hoping to be. We're hopefully riding that stage and maybe not overextending. All right, off to a good start, up 41 nothing. E Serpent just trying to think of how he's going to get in right now. Yeah, Robin's jab does seem to be like a really good option against Ganon because it's it's long enough to where like Ganon can't just run up to you and shield. Right. But it's not. But and it also hits him back far enough. So. Yeah. yeah now we're going to see some of these crazy traps that Robin has, and there it is again. Ganon, uh, East Urban is struggling to find his way back on stage through these arc fires. And this is where Robin thrives when, you know, you're just on the ledge and you just can't find your way back on. You just eat so much damage in your yeah. your attempts, you know. Especially with, like, I mean, her, uh, what do you call it, aerial, you know, the Levin sword, like, that move is just ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> God, the checkmate. Some, some of the best aerials in the game, period. Right? Yeah, agreed. They, they hit, like, trucks, man. And, uh... Oh, I thought he might have tried to go for a spike there, but yeah, I was thinking, is he gonna go for spike? He's gonna try the L1 ed edge guard, where you know, if he right. doesn't tech it, he gets hit by both of them. So it's <laughs> dude, that was. I mean, <laughs> he, I mean, there's no reason to roll when you're at 52. I mean, 52 percent, like. Right. That was a hard read. That was the E surf special right there. Yeah. Oh no, an unsafe dare right there. Gonna eat that. This is risky right now. Yep, he went for it, but and oh, what a tech! 
Ooh. from Tone Def. That's going to keep him alive. Okay, now the checkmate will definitely kill right now. Yeah, like. for sure. Like, Robin. Oh, no. So, uh Down Why? throw. God, there was a checkmate right there. I, I think there was. It was just like, yeah. I don't think he's out of the percentage range because Ganon's pretty heavy and pretty big. So no, I be. still think he's probably in that range, and it will kill at this point. We'll see, though. He's, yeah, he's, oh, man, he's just rolling around and just gets that opening, man, that flame choke. Got to be careful. Oh, there's the 11. Yeah, 11 sword's gone. 11 sword's gone, so now he really doesn't have much to play with. Good grab. Okay, now he's just going to waste time. And Tone Def plays Little Mac, and he plays Rosalina Luma, so he's he's decently good at wasting time and just kind of getting away and yeah. waiting for his stuff to get back. So that's not an issue for him. Oh, oh my gosh. Good two for him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was good. Um... Okay, he brings it right back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I was so like, powerful. I was like, he's dead. Yeah, it's one one fifty eleven. Sorry, yeah, I thought dead. he had a chance to live it, but yeah, no, that was man. <sighs> okay, <laughs> well, man. You know, Robin's so limited when it comes to getting back to stage. I almost thought she might have got caught by that. That would have been risky. But uh, he lives, man. All right, good damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's close. This one a lot. Lo this was a lot be a better of a game than the last one. Last one was just. You know, oh yeah, you yeah, man. When yeah, you're it was just, it was just, Let's get that spaghetti out of here. Yeah. Nobody wants that. Wants yeah. those noodles. Yeah, this, this one we're actually seeing edge guards, two frames, spacing. Yeah. Like it's definitely more solid. Game. Yeah, Easter been getting some reads, keeping this close. Oh man, you just can't. He oh. runs up, you don't shield, man. <laughs> like, yeah. Ganondorf 101. It's kind of like it's kind of a 50/50 because the soft dash attack off Ganondorf can lead into um, up air and possibly nair on some characters. So it's kind of like, you know, right. But then again, if you do shield, the side B comes out. Yeah. And you can't do anything about that. Yep. Easter been definitely downloading your patterns and your reactions. He's gonna notice what you do. All right. Uh, Good edge guarding. I think it actually may kill now. Yeah, it definitely will kill now. All right. It's Just taking a hit there. Now. Down. Oh, no. but he retreated. Yeah, the, yeah, the book. That's the problem. He should just threw the book at him. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that was really solid. Talk about being thrown into the wind. Oh my goodness. That was good. Like, that was phenomenal edge guard. We hadn't seen it all game. He saves it for last mm -hmm. when he needs it the most, man. It was good stuff. What a game, though, man. That was tight. Could have gone either way. Yeah. All right, so we got game three. Um... Yeah, I think he's probably just gonna stay at Robin. That'd be my guess. Like, unless they go after you or something. Yeah, the move might see it. I can see Rosa. No, I think he's gonna stay Robin. Yeah, for sure, staying Robin. Right back to Battlefield. Okay. I mean, why not? The game was so close down to the wire. Yeah. Uh, it was had nothing to do with Battlefield. I think they're both pretty comfortable on this stage, and they they liked what they saw. So I mean, coming right back to it. And you're gonna see some of the most patient Ganon play ever here. That's the thing about Ganon, like he's not like usually the best aggressive character just because he ha he has spacing tools, even though they're they're kinda limited. It's just Yeah, that's kinda the problem with Ganon. He doesn't really have like great spacing tools, but they're decent. Yeah, like that Nair's pretty good. Yeah, pretty Nair, sneaky. Yeah, Nair's good. Detailed's good versus like the shorter characters. Um yeah. Ooh, good stuff getting in there. Could've eaten a punish though. Pretty risky when you're trying to air dodge around those arc fires. Oh the book just saved him from that crap. <laughs> Oh, good. Okay, the hitbox is not what Robin was going for. Tried to get that cheese on him early, but he's having none of it. Man, it's... Oh, gets around the arc flutter for a flame choke. That was pretty good. Uh, not not something Tone Def had seen yet, so actually actually working now. Tone Def might have to be a little more careful when he's throwing those arc fires around. Yeah, arc fire is kind of like one of those moves. It's like Ness's PK fire in some ways. Like, sure, you know, you know the... The move itself isn't bad, but it's the shield. But if it doesn't, you know, you ooh, that was that was not a bad attempt by E Serpent. Trying to go for that reverse hit or that up air. Oh, but definitely. Yeah. But yeah, the thing is, like, you do leave yourself open when you use arc fire, so it's kind of a, I don't know. It's risky, yeah. It I is. Mean, it is a little, oh, wow. Good attack. Good attack. Dude, who knew knowledge was power? <laughs> that was that was just yeah. That was a powerful book, and now. Okay. Man, E Serpent. Okay, back throw, yeah, I was say back throw will kill. That's what I was thinking. Like, he's gonna be fishing for that back yeah. throw. Hey, uh, at 159, I sure hope so. Yeah. But unfortunately, um, yeah, Gandorf or E Serpent overextending quite a bit now. Here we go. Just like that, 40% on the board. And uh, Tone Def is looking really good right now. Alright. 
Ooh, tries to go for the wizard kick. But maybe maybe an air would have been something better right there, fair. I feel like he's just gonna throw the book. Like I was waiting yeah, for I it. I was thinking, <laughs> okay, is it coming? Then yeah, he threw it just a little, little bit too light. Thought he was gonna try two frame with it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, each of us has like he just kinda has trouble like getting in right now. It is kinda like that. He's he's like right there, that's when he could approach when he's charging. Like he could just yeah. walk up, side beam. Flame choke would have been great there. That yeah. I'm saying, like flame choke would have been an option there, but he's, he's just like respecting him a little bit too much, I think. Right. Yeah. He seems to being played a little too safe. Just kind of, yeah. Get and his cost stuff. didn't because this character has projectiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's if, the problem. If he had run right in there right away, he would have maybe had a punish. But all right. Oh, he wanted. To, yeah, he needs to pull out some cheese right now if he wants to bring this back to a semi-close game. Yeah. He needs to find a kill right now. He's like a good 15% away from that, um, what do you call it, the checkmate, yeah. Yep, yep, this is uh, dangerous territory. You want to knock that rage off Robin. Oh no, he's in that range. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. Oh my goodness. It's oh, he's not going to take it though. Battlefield. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Battlefield. Alright. Oh no, and that's going to be it. Yeah, he went for it all. Oh, no. he served it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he knew what he had to do. Yeah. <laughs> like, he needed to get that stock in. I don't know how else he was going to get it. <laughs> like, it's just Tone Def was playing uh, so smart and so safe. Like, mm -hmm. how are you going to penetrate that wall? And then if you do mess up trying to get the stock, then you get checkmated and you're done anyways. Yeah. Like, you, you just really can't take too many risks. I don't know. Good if, stuff. I don't know if Sup wants to come back on, you know. Um, If he does, he's probably replacing me as well. Like I don't know where we are. we might be approaching top eight honestly. We we're in top eight right now. Are we really? This is oh. this is semifinals. I'm and me versus right. um Tone Def in semifinals. Time to turn on the Jets. What's up everybody? Mm -hmm. If you're tuning in right now, this is top eight for you. We got technology mm -hmm. and Daybreak gonna take each other on here. This must be the first round of top eight, I assume. Yeah, yeah, semifinals. Yeah. Semifinals yeah, yeah. starting up. Okay, I not best of five yet. We're gonna have best of three. Coming for you guys. Best of five will be losers finals, winners finals, and grand finals for you. And we're gonna see Daybreak opting for Fox in this matchup. That's that's pretty interesting, honestly. But.